the truck jackknife in front of me. And I slid into it, into it and he drug me across the intersection and the trailer went over the hood of the car and messed me up pretty good. I've been diagnosed with plantar fasciitis okay. and neuropathy. Okay. Going down, you know, down the calves, down in the lateral medial side, going around that lateral malleolus, medial malleolus, into the calcaneus, dropping into the forefoot, hitting those cuneiforms, and literally hitting the three arches in the foot. And yeah, just getting any bit of relief there is going to be golden for you. Mm -hmm. Feeling? Oh man, what a difference! Good. Like Maybe a little bit of release in the ankles down here. There it was. There. It was. Oh man, 100% better, 100% better. This is gonna decompress the spine. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? 21 years ago I was in a car accident where I, <clears throat> up in the Midwest, I was on an icy road and I kind of drove under, I didn't actually, a truck jackknife in front of me. And I slid into, into it and he drug me across the intersection and the trailer went over the hood of the car and messed me up pretty good. I see that. I've been messed up ever since 2002. Wow. And the sad thing is I'm a truck driver. So I'm constantly bouncing around and sitting and it's... Oh, crazy. it's taking a toll on your body. Mm -hmm. Let alone the crash that happened 21 years ago. But man, all right. So on a day-to-day, -day, what, like, what do you feel? Um, started off as just being stiff all the time and lower back and hips hurting. Okay. Um, I just... Yesterday I saw my doctor I've been diagnosed with plantar fasciitis okay. and neuropathy. Okay. So, it's kind of, kind of. So you got a lot of numbness and tingling going all on. Oh, constantly. Numbness, tingling, swelling. Dang, okay. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun at all. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, it's going even all the way up the spine and the neck. Across the shoulders and headaches, even too. Oh yeah, I've had. I've, I probably have three a week. I, I mean, I went and got a massage today, mm -hmm. and when I got up off the table, I was dizzy and lightheaded. And, but uh, it was worth it. She was. <laughs> she was a good massage uh, massage therapist. I mean, I don't want to name the company, but. I got another one for 90 minutes tomorrow after this. Heck yeah. Uh, yesterday I was in the hot tub. Today, yeah. this morning I got in a massage. I'm headed back to the hot tub and another massage tomorrow. I'm trying to take care of me. I don't blame you. Yeah, there's only, there's I'm trying to continue here. my career. I'm, I'm only 58. I'm trying to make it to, you know, retire. And yeah. right now it's starting to catch up to me. <laughs> you don't I've been that. driving a truck for 32 years. Dang, okay. I, 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 don't, I, I love it. I've always loved it. I wanted to do it since I was a kid. But truck driving is a rough profession uh, as far as what it does to your body. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, it is. Most people just think, oh, yeah, they said. We just sit around and drive all over the country and see it. It ain't that. It, no. ain't, it ain't that great. No. <laughs> I mean, I, I, actually, in the very beginning, I loved it. I still love it today, but it's work. It's not as fun as it was when I first started. Yeah. When I was 27 years old and young and ready to hit the, hit the country, and it ain't that great anymore. I mean, <laughs> I don't mind going to California, but it's a long journey. Oh, yeah. Dang. All right, let's get you some relief. All right, appreciate it. Yeah, slide them guys off. We good. And then I'm going to have you go face down on the face table. Alright, checking the leg length. Not too bad, right leg is shorter though. But yeah, you can 
feel that swelling. I know you're noticing it, obviously, with wearing the compression uh, compressions yep. across the calves and going down. And I know, like you said, even um, plantar fasciitis in the feet now, too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. Right there. Okay. And then there too. Okay. So we had upper thoracic, lower cervical. This is right in the mid thoracic. Let's make our way down. This is all tight though, by the way. Mm -hmm. Every chiropractor I've been to said I look as hard as a rock. Yep. Uh, kind of made it, tried to make it a little bit sore there too. Okay, right in here? Uh -huh. Okay. That's why I went and had the massage this morning. Try to make it a little easier for you <laughs> and better for me. <laughs> Get the most out of this adjustment. Uh -huh. I hear you. Okay. I'm going to be a repeat customer. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> well, at least you're right here. You're not too far from where you live. Right. Well, I've been seeing chiropractors too. Cervical upper thoracic. yelling on the video, cursing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know if I
tennis, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I have one of those. <laughs> My wife doesn't use it that way, though. <laughs> <laughs> she don't use it that way. <laughs> Go face down again. I'm actually going to work on plantar fasciitis and then through the neuropathy you're having in the lower legs here. Okay, thank you. Tell, so I like going over the arches and the feet, the uh, longitudinal, medial, and that transitional one coming across. But yeah, this is, that rapid vibration on this just helps break up any adhesions. Trust me, I know this ain't the best feeling, but. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, that, I mean, you could just tell just with the, uh, with the swelling, so you know that you're obviously, you're going through definitely some issues with this, but yeah, I was going down, you know, down the calves, down the lateral medial side, going around that lateral malleolus, medial malleolus, into the calcaneus, dropping into the forefoot, hitting those cuneiforms, and literally hitting the three arches in the foot, and yeah, just getting any bit of relief there is going to be golden for you. here hopefully get a little bit of release in the ankles down here there it was Mm -hmm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna decompress the spine. Mm -hmm. neck let go. <laughs> oh, oh man. I, I feel about 
like in between my shoulders, come down about this far. Gotcha. Good. <sighs> Heck yeah. Mm. All right, let's sit you up. We're gonna use that vibration, and then we're gonna do that wire strap again. Okay. I need you, man, to do a double pull on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a mess, man. It's been a mess. I really appreciate you being here. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I'm following you close. more this open up good yeah right up through here it opened up even more oh my god <laughs> I know it's I'm constantly this way all the day every day and it's, it just stiffens up so bad but man this is gonna make a difference <laughs> I know everything's not gonna get fixed in one day. I'm gonna have to come back and see you again. I intend on coming back and seeing you again. Heck yeah. But uh No, yeah, you, you for you, yeah, it's it's definitely needed, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. You can tell just with what your body's. And like I said, I've I've been following you for quite some time and um uh, on YouTube. Yep. And now that my wife is finally said, go for it, you know, stop stop procrastinating, you know. <laughs> I need to take care of me because of what I do is a very dangerous job. Yeah. And I don't want to kill nobody. I really don't. No, not at all. Or yourself. No. You know? Especially me. Yeah. But I think my career is still young. Mm -hmm. I, I want to, you know, I don't want to be. I've seen some guys, you know, can barely walk getting out of the truck. I don't want to be like that. Oh, heck no. You need a quality of life. I've seen a guy with a freaking walker trying to get in and out of the truck. You know, that's. You get to that point. Come on. Man. Trying to retire. Yeah, oh, yeah. At that point, 100%. He climbed down out of his truck and on the back was a, a walker. And I, me and my wife were sitting there and I went, I can't, look at this, can you believe this? <laughs> the guy's actually getting his walker off the back of his truck.
I love the job, but I don't love it that much. <laughs> no. Tomorrow I'll be using a walker. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. After a day in the pool with the hot tub, uh -huh. I'll be doing good tonight. Heck yeah. Stand up for me. How's uh, feet and legs? Oh man. 100% better, 100% better. I couldn't, like, like I said, I would get out of the bed in the morning and stand up and my feet would hurt. I was like an old man getting to the restroom or something. This, right now I don't feel good. This is great. I couldn't do this yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I couldn't even do this yesterday, it hurt so bad. Dang. That is <laughs> amazing. <laughs> is that a little bit different than what you're, uh Used to getting done at a chiropractic office? Absolutely, 100% different. <laughs> exactly what I've been asking for, and nobody would do it. Yeah. Oh, we don't do that type of, uh, of chiropractic care here. <laughs>